The Simple Life. Tell me your tales of the simple life. There's like two paradoxes in it. That's the problem. Now, but I'm going to try and get it. Because what it's actually about, right, is this morning, waking up and unexpectedly having, now I really, really am careful, I don't want to use the following word, but I don't actually know a better word, a natural high. Right, it's like, you have things like this, it's all about mind, body, soul, all of this. What do they really want? What they really want is a natural high. Well, what they want is a high. A so important starting point that you cannot avoid is alcohol. The sugar in alcohol and a sugary diet, without a doubt, increases melodrama in the human psyche. No doubt about it. I know this, and I, I observe it in others, or those who, who partake of the grape, which I've done in the past, long ago. The sugar is actually... This is a, outside the church, up in the town up there, two or three t times a week, they put... Um, bread that is um, left over from little. This bread's got sugar in it. And I'm not <clears throat> a perfect saint. Occasionally, because they're cheap, I'll have half a packet of biscuits or whatever. And I just notice if I have a few days or a week with no sugar at all or virtually none, you settle down. You... The point being is that melodrama is tiring. Anyway, you can't even have achieved the simple life mental setting with sugar in your diet. It, it's uh, and, uh, and uh, one should always be terribly, terribly sceptical of. I mean, we all know Adolf Hitler was a vegetarian. The one of the many stories of the last 30, 20, 30 years of Britain has been a total obsession with what goes in your gob. And, in fact, it is well reported, it's well known that... Although there's an interesting... Um, what's her name? Sabine video that I'm going to sort of link to this. But this obsession with what goes in your gob, it's well known that the actual medically diagnosed rate of... Um, of, um, what's the word, of um, intolerances of allergies has pretty much remained the same, whilst the rate of reporting, like, my children have definitely got allergies to, has doubled or trebled. Okay, trying to keep to a point. What is the simple life? The simple life, and I'll come to the paradox in a minute, is that alone, from time to time, very very, very rarely, once you get used to living like this, alone, and just day-to-day, -day, basically working around the weather, and things like walking, and whatever, and it's not a very nice day, okay, I might go and charge my computer, but forget all of that. I just had three or four days of just being a little bit tired out, just like, hmm, what's next, whatever. And like you're in a way just a little bit tired out from from your full energy, and I it's like another word, you know. Even the bloody woman loved. She goes on about energy. It's like energy and energy healing. All of this, it's bullshit. It just comes down to this. It's like this morning. So for three or four, I mean, there was the really really cold week where. 
you go into a slightly different mode. But this morning, it's like the last three or four days, and I encountered somebody I thought oh, I'd quite like to um, maybe... Uh, uh, I've been trying to offload a room stuffed full of kids' stuff. Anyway, I was talking to somebody and thought, oh, it could be a friend. No. Anyway, point. These little things, they, bizarrely, they don't really chip away at your energy. The negative things, when you send a text to somebody and they don't even have the manners to reply. They don't really chip away, chip away at your energy. I don't know. It's just like being in a slightly, a certain amount going on mode. Yeah, of course we have to do that. To, I had to do it to get the money for a vehicle. But what is the simple life? This morning, as time and time and time again over the last three years, I woke up, well, actually, often the last ten years, I woke up and like had like a, almost a gentle, natural high. Just being alive. Here, six o'clock. Hardly any money in my wallet. Uh, my vehicle could break down at any time. And time and time again, this comes along. And it's not a kind of dangerous high or anything like that. But basically, it's like aged 16, 17, for some years, me and, me and friends, like, oh, we want to get... We want to have insight via smoking some very gentle, light weed. And sometimes there would be the notion of being high. You never reach that. I never reach that. We, we we use various potions to try and achieve that, but you don't reach it. But in the simple life, believe me, you reach that high. You reach the ideal high that age 16 or 25, you'd be having the back of your mind is what you want. And I'm not joking. I don't I, I, I've, I haven't touched anything uh, mind-altering for years, except for a very short experimental period. About six years ago, on a neighbour of mine always had... Like, I thought, does it actually increase your creativity? I'm in such a good mood. Let me experiment and for three or four days. No, it doesn't. Uh, <clears throat> right. But the paradox is this. There is a paradox. And in this dreadful society where, I mean, we are so close to America, it's scary. And here we have, on July the 21st, the um, Sam Harris did a, a, a discussion with L.A. Paul. And you really see at the intellectual level, L.A. Paul <coughs> is meant to be one of the top philosophers, <coughs> a woman at Harvard, I think it is. All they, they cannot now move beyond this individuality. The individual realisation, etc., etc., etc. It is just so intellectually... The intellectual dogma, but paucity in that. If you're a person, a human being, of either gender, with kids around, you're touching them all the time. I had ten about, about 13 years... Of you're all even at breakfast, you might be in some way or other physically connecting with that other human being. That changes your internal soup and it changes your the setting, the mindset, whatever. But this dreadful cultural construct we have is somehow now I totally believe there is an old, there is a schema. To, that is beyond what is in my circle here, my little bubble of reality. But I, it's impossible to know what it is. We have this dreadful paradigm of everybody believing they can find it. It's utter bullshit. You cannot. And in so doing, in this obsession to find answers, we don't even talk about it. If you're a human being, t touching other human beings all the time, you feel totally better. Meaning your mindset, your psyche is just, it's 
juicier, sweeter. You're more inclined to smile, etc., etc. And the paradox, there's a great paradox dichotomy, is that yes, you can find, as I have, true, proper, joyful, natural high zen. I mean, smiling, it's like feeling so great. Okay, let's have a morning of tidying up a little bit and cleaning out and blah, blah, blah. But also, okay, I'm going to do that thing that I was in the back of my mind. I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish off this letter. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try that. It's not manic. It's just, I just feel lovely and blissy and it's a slight natural high. That can only come in the simple life. But the paradox, the dichotomy is this. I've had it myself. When you're living with somebody, a partner, a human beings are, are like so many other animals, like rats, our whole system, endocrine, immune, the whole everything about us require is attuned to us being cuddling up in a ball with others touch. And I remember distinctly uh, after I'd been with somebody for three years, because my life was stripped back 14 years ago, everything superfluous cut out of it. In a way, it's great. But it was so notable. I'd been living, sleeping with somebody for three years. I so noticed it about a month after we'd disconnected for her benefit totally. She had to go off and find herself. My internal biochemical soup changed, and my psyche changed. And that's the paradox. The paradox is that I know the state of being with somebody else is better. The paradox is, yes, to, to be able to find and exist and <coughs> dance in that perfect, simple, simple mode where genuinely mind body it is totally and utterly positive utterly positive i just never ever feel shitty and even when a bug comes along as it did two weeks ago or something in the or the autumn it's like i i can find the useful silver lining in this it's sl it stopped me it's been a punctuation mark all of these clever dick fucking things that well, these people don't talk about. They'll talk about crystals and they'll talk about tarot and they'll talk about therapies. It's all bullshit. But the simple life, yes, can be summed up in if you've somehow managed to get the logistics, the day-to-day -day stuff and how you can just about pay for your food, your fuel, etc. If you can get that sorted, then yes, you, I have many, many, many occasions. Um, in fact, I'd kind of been missing it for two or three weeks, but I'd assumed it had gone. That's the point. I'd assumed it had gone. I woke up this morning with my natural high, and it's not due to nature. It's not due to being in quiet, fantastic place. It's... I'm simplified, and I'm aware... Or rather, I have the space for this natural high to come in. That's it. That's all you can say about it. But paradoxically, it does not... That does not come along when you're doing the more important thing of spending your life, days, with closely touching other human beings. And the latter is better. Ultimately, that leads to a happier feeling, even though you get the genuine, lovely natural highs in this simple mode. And that's, that's why I can't write it in three or four pages, but I've just spoken it, and I shall turn that into three or four pages at some point. And the great thing also, these kind of... I, I, I don't even want to use the word energy. The woman who I bloody well think is pretty good, or better than any other I've met, um, 
as obsessed as, oh, look at my energy work. No, she's not obsessed. But even she's been corrupted into this bullshit way. The... <clears throat> I prefer the word, actually, buzz. There's like a buzz that comes along regularly and is genuine and it is almost like a drug. Like, I'll go two or three days when I won't listen to any music and then when I have one of my... And then I'll just, like, come come along for two minutes. It's like, uh, for three or four hours 